welcome to Season 4. We're the Kaiju Critics. Back by popular demand, which we attribute to our article on TVTropes.org. Thanks again to the pale, friendless nerds who made this possible. Hey, don't make fun of our animator. Hey, I wasn't making fun of him. No, the, the people from the website. Anyway, we're still spelling Kaiju Critics with two Ks. Because spelling it with three Ks would be a hate crime. We're going to review The Informant first and foremost this year. I thought it was a nice, amusing dramedy that... I thought it wasn't even remotely amusing. It seemed to lack the proverbial high-fructose corn syrup that makes a movie dangerously delicious. Let's dispense with the unnecessary corn jokes right away, all right? And delve right into our usual cutaway. Behold, our version of The Informant. Hey. Yes? Those guys are involved in a price-fixing scam. Hey! Yes? That guy's kissing a mop. No creepy, it's not quite legal. Hey. Yes? Public urination! Are these cutaways even necessary anymore? They're not really too keen on revealing or reviewing anything. It's almost like that time that I was trapped in that cage atop Curly Peak with the Raven King, and we had to escape using only our lasers. Okay, I'm gonna pretend like that didn't happen. I rate the informant a solid 8 out of 10. I rate the informant two Tom Poppers out of a possible Matt Damon. And I'll throw in that guy from Community for good measure. You... Astound me. Thanks for watching! And remember, anything can be candied, including beets. But if you try to candy candy, then you will create a black hole that will absorb the entire solar system. I tried it, it works. And you see that guy? Yes? Bacon smuggler. I